Jim Miller puts it perfectly. He says, we are where we are because of the decisions we make. If you're not fully you know, happy and satisfied with the decisions in life that we make and continue to make, bring the situations that we're currently in to us to improve the material, the outside world, or even the inner, inner, inner world, you really have to master what goes on up here and what's what's being told to you when you're about to make a decision and the actual decision itself improvement has to start with your psychology with the way you view things deluding yourself into thinking that you're okay and that you're all good and you don't need any help obviously is very limiting and it's going to bring you some very limiting results in life fruit kind of ripens and, and gets nice and sweet right but then it starts to go rotten so if you're deluding yourself in thinking that you're truly satisfied in life when you're not yeah okay you can delude yourself for a little while but you know over time as you get older and things progress you know you will decay when someone let's just say for example says hey um shane do you want to go for a run this afternoon okay if your first initial thought is like oh i can't be bothered i'm so tired right and we've answered the question that you know your health isn't really where it should be but you've got this limiting belief that you're tired and you know you just can't be bothered so then what you say to your friend is you say to them well excuse is going to be i don't have enough time and then you're going to back yourself up telling you stories why you avoided that run oh you know you can go home and relax and sit on the couch that's a decision now that you know you need to improve your health but now you just come up with some limited beliefs before you told your friend you weren't going to go. Then you gave them a good excuse why you can't go because you know you don't have enough time. Then you back up why you didn't go with a nice story to make you feel comfortable to enjoy your time on the couch. If your you know goal is to improve fulfillment and satisfaction in life, you're going to avoid that by going out with your friends and drinking and trying to book up your calendar or your free time so that you're never alone because you're just scared of you know, that isolation or loneliness. That's just a, a self-limiting belief. That's where you get true growth if you want more fulfillment. That's when you catch yourself before you act or speak, that is the game of life. Your ego is lazy. <laughs> it just doesn't want to do um, anything that's not comfortable. Catch yourself, right? And before you say to her that you don't have enough time, that split second, honestly, that's where you win the, the battle in psychology. So focus and concentration need to be trained as well. Now that, that's obviously, the best way I've found to train those two things is obviously meditation. It's that little moment where everyone's going to have that voice saying not to do something. That split second, to win that little battle, you can change your health, you can change your fulfillment, you can change your psychology most importantly.